Welcome! Today, we're embarking on a luminous journey to uncover aspects about light and radiation. First up, let's explore the spectrum of the seven types of radiation or light waves. Delving deeper, we will discover the radiation of light itself. How does it illuminate our world? Straight as an arrow, light streaks through space. The pathway that light takes as it moves is known as rectilinear propagation. We will talk more on this later. How fast is light? Buckle up, because we're about to find out. We talk about radiation often, like when we mention cell phone radiation or radiation from the microwave. But what is radiation? Radiation is energy that comes from a source and travels through space. We often refer to radiation as light waves. What are some sources of radiation? The sun, a light bulb, a fire are sources of radiation. The seven types of radiation or light waves include Radio waves have the lowest energy, used to get radio signal from the radio station to the radio, also used in remote controls for garages and gates. Microwaves are used in a microwave oven to heat up food. Infrared, a light wave that releases heat. Whenever you feel heat from a source, it is releasing infrared radiation. It is used in night vision goggles. Visible light waves are the light waves that we, as humans, are able to see. Visible light waves include the seven colors of the rainbow. Ultraviolet waves are light waves responsible for tanning and burning of the skin when exposed to the sun. This is because these light waves are able to penetrate the skin. X-rays are high-energy waves that can penetrate the skin and reach bone, hence we use these light waves in X-ray machines to identify fractured or broken bones. Gamma rays are high-energy waves, released from radioactive atoms that split at the nucleus. Gram rays are used in nuclear power plants to heat up water. All forms of radiation or light waves release light. However, we are blind to all of them except for visible light waves. Visible light is the term used to describe all the forms of radiation that we are able to see with our eyes. Some animals can see other light waves. For example, butterflies, bees and some birds can see ultraviolet light. A flower that looks quite plain to us may seem way more colorful to a bee. Some snakes have the ability to see infrared. This means that they can see warm objects such as mice scurrying in the grass, allowing them to catch prey more easily. Let us move on and talk about visible light in more detail. Visible light, which we simply refer to as light, is emitted from luminous objects. Light is emitted from luminous objects such as the sun and light bulbs and is transferred by radiation. Light waves are transferred by radiation, meaning that they are emitted from a luminous source and radiate in all directions. This is why when you turn on the light, the entire room becomes illuminated. Luminous objects are objects that emit their own light. Non-living things that are luminous include the sun, light bulbs, stars, burning candles, fires and lightning. They produce their own light. We see luminous objects because they produce or emit light that enters directly into our eyes. The sun is the main source of light on Earth. Some living things such as fireflies and glowworms also produce light. Many objects like the moon, a tree, and a book cannot emit light, cannot produce light. Objects that do not emit their own light are called non-luminous. When that light hits a non-luminous object, it then bounces off radiates in all directions from that object. This is why we can see objects around us, and we can see them from any angle. When light waves hit an object, some of the light waves enter the object and get converted into heat energy. Some of the light waves bounce off the object, still traveling in straight lines. 
We can see a book or a car because light from the sun or a bulb is reflected from the book into our eyes. Looking at the flame of a candle through a straight pipe or hose, one can observe the light passing through the pipe. However, when attempting to view the light through a bent pipe or hose, the light from the candle fails to reach the eyes. This simple experiment illustrates a fundamental property of light, its tendency to travel in a straight line. This phenomenon is known as the rectilinear propagation of light. An example of this principle in action is the formation of shadows. If light did not travel in a straight line, it would bend around objects, preventing the formation of shadows. Light travels in straight lines. Shadows are proof that light travels in straight lines. Rectilinear propagation is the straight line that light travels in. This also explains why we are not able to see light around corners. When light travels from an object that is around a corner, the light is unable to bend around the corner and reach our eyes. Light travels through empty space at a speed of 300,000 km per second. The distance from the sun to earth is 150 million kilometers. Light also travels about a million times faster than sound, so you see lightning before you hear thunder. How many minutes will it take light from the sun to reach earth? Firstly, you need to know the speed, distance time formula. The distance speed time triangle helps us. Distance this is how far you need to travel. It could be measured in kilometers. Speed tells you how fast you're moving. It's measured in kilometers per hour or kilometers per second in the case of speed of light. Time is how long it takes to travel the distance. It's measured in units like hours, minutes, or seconds. To use the triangle, Cover up the variable you want to find, and you're left with the formula to use. From the triangle you will see that Speed equals distance divided by time Distance equals speed times time Time equals distance divided by speed In this question, we are asked to work out the time light takes to travel from the sun to earth. The formula to use will be time is equal to distance divided by speed. We will we'll then divide the distance from the sun to earth, which is 150 million kilometers by the speed of light which is 300,000 kilometers per second. This gives us 500 seconds, which is the time light takes to travel from the sun to earth. There are 60 seconds in a minute, so if we divide 500 seconds by 60 we will get 8.3 minutes. This means that it takes light from the sun over 8 minutes to reach our eyes on Earth. A ray diagram is a simplified way of showing how light is radiated from a luminous object. The path and direction of one ray of light is represented by a line with an arrowhead. Ray diagrams are highly simplified since they only show a few of millions of light rays that shine from a source. But remember light rays radiate in all directions so a simple ray diagram only represents a few of the rays of light that are radiated by the luminous object. This diagram shows the difference between the path of light traveling from a luminous and a non-luminous object. The light travels in a straight line directly from a luminous object to your eye. For us to be able to see non-luminous objects. Firstly, light travels in a straight line from a luminous object to the book. It then bounces from the book to get into our eyes. That is how we are able to see the book. We have come to the end of our first discussion on visible light and we are mainly looking at radiation of visible light. We have seen that light is transferred through space and it moves in straight lines. 
Please join us for our next exciting classes on visible light, where we will look at the pinhole camera and the spectrum of visible light. Links to these videos are given below. But before we go, please answer these questions before the answers pop up. You can pause the video as you go. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of your day and keep well.